All right, y'all. Can't tell me nothing. Episode. Help me out here. 17. 17 it is. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're wrong. 16? I don't know. My name is Try. Wait, wait, hold on. I'm, I'm Ingerson, but is it 16 or 17? I don't know. Does it really matter at this point? We're doing uh, yeah, one every yeah. week, so. But we, we got to keep got to keep it. Uh, Hold on. Give me 30 seconds. Give me 30 seconds. 16. Right. 16 it today's is. Today's the 6th. That was the last time we recorded. Can't tell me nothing, right? All right, yeah. I mean, today's the 13th. Last time was. All right, 6th. 16 it is. Okay. 16. Um. We uh we don't really have any specific topic, but we do have a lot of things we want to talk about. I'm just going to be randomly saying a lot of shit, and I hope you got something to respond. First thing, I think we're going to talk about cancel culture, um, and I would like to start by canceling two things out of my life, or two things. One is I would like to cancel Starbucks um, because uh, they officially took off my Irish cream cold brew off the menu. Um, I'm very fucking pissed off. So it's probably nasty I actually, anyways. I actually want to write a fucking email to Starbucks as to why the fuck did you take off? It was the only good drink on the yeah. menu, and I was oh a very God. supportive Starbucks member. You sound um, like a Karen. Yeah, I I would I was so fucking mad. Mean? I literally woke up to work at six something a.m. and I was like, I'm gonna get my fucking coffee and I'm going to work. And I checked the Do one some Coke. I'm no. Joking. No. It, was, it was a joke. That no. was a joke. I promise I, I, that was yeah. it might have been a joke, but still. It's a, it joke. a joke. All right. Anyways, I, I checked <laughs> so many fucking places. They ran out of my fucking shit. And I'm like, I don't know what to get. So and then I had to get this new drink and then I literally didn't finish it. I drank half of it and I was like, I'm why the fuck out. Um it tastes like shit. Then why um, don't you get something that you've had before? I kind of forgot what I, I like from Starbucks. I've been ordering the same drink for like almost over a month, literally. I don't. I don't even know what to get. This I look, man said over a month. I'm expecting him to say like over a couple years. Well, it was kind of new. The drink is kind of fairly new. So like, I don't know. I'm actually. I'm. I wasn't even a coffee drinker, and then that got me into being a coffee coffee drinker. And then now, I don't know what else to drink. Like, so I would like to cancel Starbucks. No, I'm kidding. I don't really. I will. Anyways. Let's anyways, get in. the second thing I would like to cancel is your Twitter name. All right, man. I That's think you're gonna have to cut this out. What's my Twitter name? Let's. Yo, what's your Twitter name? Didn't isn't it Pfizer something something something? No, it's Ingerson underscore Uno. I thought I thought you screenshot is saying something Pfizer gang. Oh, that is my my thingy on Twitter. All right, you I know, wouldn't I don't care. I'm not bro, okay, about. we have to talk about this. First know, off, we okay. don't cancel anything. We need to cancel that haircut. We need to cancel it by Twitter. <laughs> it's not fucking happening. I paid a hundred dollar for this haircut. It's here to stay. Cancel that haircut. All right, it's here to stay. <laughs> I've never spent more than thirty bucks in my life, Wait, and you I finally hundred dollars. Yeah, it was a hundred bucks. Uh, yo, it makes me realize how much girls spend on their hair. Yeah, um, they, they don't like do two hundred dollars <sighs> when you actually get your hair done as a as a woman. It was fucking ridiculous. Spend a shit ton of money on it. I was like, ooh. Uh, that's why, why, think that's why I haven't like, really touched my hair because I don't want to uncurl it yeah, or else I got to go get it done again. Why do you think women don't like when they get their, their hair done when you fuck it up or mess it up? Oh, I, I get it. I get it. I paid a hundred. I was, my, I almost like barf. I, as soon as I finished, I wanted to throw up. Yes, man. It hurts my gut. Anyways. But yeah, let's, let's uh, you, you want to let off some steam? Cause this vaccine, no, this vaccine talk. Man. I just be trolling, bro. I'm over it. Bro, I just be trolling. Just I'm be funny over sometimes. It. I'm I don't, I got, listen, I got my vaccine. I got my second shot. I'm chilling. I don't, if niggas, I'm, if bro, people don't want to get their vaccine, that's on them. I'm not going to force no bro, one. I got I'm, mine, so I'm out here. I'm, I'm going back out. I don't care. Okay, so yeah, no, I'm I'm in the middle with this. I I get it. If you're anti, I get it. You pro, whatever you do, what you do. All right, I think there's been too much shit talking lately bro, just be, from I both really, sides. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. Sometimes I do see stuff from people I know. They post stuff, and I'd be like, I just wish that they would do a little more research. But at the same time, like, I don't really. I mean, I just troll sometimes. I don't get <laughs> that mad over it. It's whatever. Like, I'm not about to force someone. Yeah. If they don't want to take the vaccine to take it. I took mine. That's all that matters to me. Is yeah. I got mine. So if you don't want to take it as long That's as That's a lot of be- people mad though. There's a lot of people mad on both sides. I don't I don't I don't want to be Man, mad. People it doesn't really right. bother me. I just We already about to go back to normal. Everybody will be all right once we get back to normal. They already you already seen the C D C talking about Oh yeah, yeah. You don't have so to wear a mask inside no more. So right. I mean so my thing is everybody would be fine. My thing is, how does that even work? So now, like, there's nobody checking. So technically, people who who didn't get the vaccine well, they, just no, be 
Because one, you can either actually walk around with your little vaccine card, or like me, I, I, I just I, take a picture. of I it. I lost it. I don't know what happened to mine. You should. Did you take a picture of it? No, I wasn't one of these fucking. You no, no, right, hold no, 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 hold no, no. You hold, no, let hold me on, cancel no, all on. the people no, on, who no, take relax, a picture relax. and post it on this story. That's actually there's smart. no need. It. No, actually no need is. for actually you to do is. that shit. It actually right? is because think about it. When it comes to not like, a flex. When it comes to like NBA, whatever, if it's a flex or whatever, I don't <laughs> care about that. When it comes to like certain like sporting events, you have to show proof. Like especially if you come from out of state, right? You have, and you say you're a. Uh, uh, Let's see what am I? I'm going to the Padres versus the Cardinals. Say you coming from St. Louis, right? And you're coming to watch the Padres <clears> play. You have to have proof in order to get into that. Do game. they check at the end, uh, at the entrance? Yeah, they check your ID. If they see you're from California, no, 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 no. Do, no, no, do no, they no, check better, if you're vaccinated? No, my fault. Not. Let me not use baseball. When we went to me, and my girl and my daughter we went to SeaWorld last week. Right. They literally said if you're from out of state, like to get into the, they check your IDs. Right. And, and there were signs everywhere that said if you're from out of state, you need to show proof that you've been vaccinated. Otherwise, you won't get into SeaWorld. Mm. So if you're coming from out of state to go to SeaWorld, yes, you have that picture of hell because if it's on your story and you could go through your memories or something on Instagram and save the picture. Now See, you have proof if you don't have your actual card on you like your dumbass in the sense that you lost it. I didn't really care. With the picture, you have proof. I got proof. it, but whatever. Okay, but let's say you go out of state soon and there's somewhere and they say you have to show proof that you're fully vaccinated. You have the card no more. So It now, might be somewhere but here. But my but point okay. is the picture is backup because all they have to do is look at the pic- the names on the pictures, look at your ID, see that the names and everything match up and you're good. Yeah. Okay, my thing is, see, I got the vaccine. Whatever. I'm I'm pro, but I'm not going to force anybody. I'm not going to talk any shit. Um. And then I might explain. It's fun to talk shit sometimes. Yeah. Oh, I, but I don't. I don't see how. I don't man, see. People be all right, man. Ain't I nobody fucking. I well, hold on, hold going on. Back to normal. Everybody be all right. Yes, I. Stop but being so sensitive. Yes, but I don't see how it's fair for people who don't want to take the vaccine that they're like requiring vaccines in certain situations because it's not fair to them. Like. I got it, but it's like, what if the person who don't want to take the vaccines, like okay, now, yeah. like if you don't take the vaccine, you can't, you still got to wear a mask it's, it's or you can't thing. enter certain places if you're not vaccinated. That's not fair. Okay, like, well, the CDC or somewhere, who or one of them. Fuck the EDC. EDC, that's I mean, the fuck the CDC. The CD, I, I fuck with EDC. Listen, they released something saying today that you have a better chance, a 40 time better chance of dying from COVID if you just get it. Than you do if if you were to get the Johnson and Johnson vaccine and get the blood clots. Yeah. So if you just get COVID and don't get the vaccine, there's a better chance you're gonna die than if you get no, the blood no. Clots. I, I mean, like I get, I get it. I get people. You can't trust everything the government right. says. You got to take it with a grain of salt. I get that, but come on now, like, just use common sense sometimes. No, I no, I just, just I use tr- common I, sense sometimes. No, do I get you, it. Do you? You don't have to. Tr- you don't have to look on CNN. You don't have to look on Fox News. Go. Use outside sources from outside the country. Do your actual research and you might find something. I mean, I'm not forcing people to do do it, but you might find something that might make you more comfortable in taking the vaccine. You just have to do your research. That's really what it comes down to. Yeah, and I think a lot so of... I'm looking at what people are posting on social media because a lot of that shit is not, is not true. A lot of people are just saying that because they want to put fear in you guys. That's what the media in America does. All they do is try to put fear in the citizens. So you have to take shit you see on social media and shit you see on American news with a grain of salt. Even if it's on the pro-vaccine side or anti-vax side, you you have to do go do your own research and you'll maybe find something that'll put your mind at ease. Whether you decide to take the vaccine or you still say, fuck it, I'm not going to take it. At yeah. least it'll maybe put your mind a little more at ease with the way that America pushes out the news. But well, that's just me. Well, here, see, I'm, I don't care if they do or don't. Um, it's your life, uh, which is why I have an issue as to why there's certain cases where if you're vaccinated, you have the right to do et cetera, et cetera. But for the people who hasn't got their vaccine or chose not to get the vaccine, they're not in the same list. It's just not fair. I think like we're going back to normal. Like you said, everything will be back to normal. So it's like whether you have the vaccine or whether you don't have the vaccine, like you should be able to both do the same damn thing. It's only the right and fair thing to do. Now, if you chose not to get the vaccine, then 
that doesn't sh- that shouldn't deter you from being able to enter Sea World or something, you know, or uh, no, I, I agree. or I walk agree around with, with or with walk that. around with no mask because it's it should be your decision. I think at the end of the day, I think it, this whole last I year, that. I think there's been too much controlling people, and I think um, you should you know give the power back to the people, and whatever they choose to do is whatever they choose to do. I think all these little guidelines will only make things worse among people. Will only make things worse between the anti. Yeah, and all the, the guidelines. Of forcing people it's, to get it, it's just gonna make people not want right. to take it. So I do agree with that. Like sometimes it seems like the government is a little pushy when it comes to the vaccine, but I do think that people should do their research. I'm not saying that the government is 100 percent right. We seen with Johnson and Johnson, they had to recall it and re-put it back out just to make sure it was actually safe and not really killing people. So, <sighs> but I think people, as long as you do your research, yeah, and you go from there. If you do your research and you come with me and you tell me that you have the research and you say I just still don't want to take it, I'll like I know people who I like we've had conversations, debates. I won't say arguments because I'm like I'm still cool with these people, so I wouldn't say it's an argument. So we had right. debates and we talked about it, and people was like, I w- I don't take it because personally I've never really been sick. I always I'm like right. a healthy person. Like I never get flu shots. So I'm like in yeah. that sense I'm like okay you know what, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot. I can't I can't do none of like I'm not gonna force you to take it, but I know I think you would be in a better situation. I personally don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk getting COVID and end up being in the hospital. That's my thing. Yeah. I have to go into a kid and shit. I well, can't worry every, about Well, everybody has I the, can't stress about Everybody that. has the right to be like, you know what? I just don't want to take it. No, I've yeah, been, exactly. I've been, I've been, like I said, I just be trolling, but yeah, I, I, be, I get it. If you don't want to take it, man, don't take it. Now, uh, yeah, no. Like, if you don't want to take it and you feel like you're healthy and you're you're a healthy person, whatever. At least still wear a mask and be smart until we know that it's for sure, like... In the clear that no one has to wear masks anymore. That's all I was saying. Well, say. actually, the report. I'm gonna still wear well, a mask. Like well, I'll be trolling. I'm well, the reports when I'm outside right for now. the the CDC report that came out today is that if you're fully vaccinated, then you can take the mask off after two and, weeks. So I would still technically have to wear a mask right now. Well, yeah, okay. I, I'm I'm not being technical here. I'm just saying if you're vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask anymore. Yes. Now that I think that's where this kind of gets a little sticky is because of the people that chose not to. It's like. Well, what the fuck? What happens to them? Do well, they still have to wear a mask? They would still have to wear a mask because. But see, that's but that's not fair it. to them. But it's okay, just not. so, but it's fair in a sense because you have to think about it. the The older COVID strain, the one that first came out, isn't as strong as the newer COVID strain that's supposedly out here actually killing younger people, killing people our age. Or I won't say killing them. Let me let me change my words. Right. Not killing younger people our age, but putting them in the hospital. But so. With that being said, yeah, I think it would be smarter for people who aren't vaccinated. Okay, so is the studies show that people who get vaccinated that still end up contracting COVID, it's like a real, like 80% or higher that nothing's going to happen to you. You're not no, going to no, be in the I hospital. You're well, not going to die. I don't agree. Wait, hold on. I, I don't disagree with your, what you're saying. I, I agree with what you're saying, but I'm, I'm just saying it for the people on the other end that I totally get where their frustration and where they get mad is coming from. It's like, Yo, like, I think most of them know that. I think most of them know what you're saying, but they decided not to take it anyways because they have the right to. And mm-hmm. I don't, I don't think you should punish people. But um, a mask isn't being a punishment. That's but, but hold okay, up. wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold up. Here's, okay, go. Wait, go hold on. up. If you're gonna tell one population who, if you're gonna tell the vaccinated population that they don't have to wear a mask. You should also allow the other population to not wear a mask because it's only a fair thing to do. Because if not you really, if, well, then, then now you're not being fair. But you have to look at it this way: the people. Okay, so the people who get vaccinated, if we catch COVID, like if me and you were to have COVID right now, it's a it's a lesser chance that we're going to spread it to other people because we have the vaccine <clears throat> compared to people who don't have the vaccine. So. Even yes, I get you. You should. They should have the right to not wear masks. But if they're getting it, and they and even if the people who don't have the vaccine, you can still not get it. And, and and I mean, you can still not get the vaccine, get COVID, be asymptomatic, but and and not even know you have it. But 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 isn't that isn't it's that, still a better chance that you're gonna pass it that you can pass well, it on to someone? So so isn't that isn't which will that cause the cases to go back up? Okay, but so isn't that the reason why most people, not most. But isn't that why people get vaccinated anyways is because if they do catch it, it doesn't matter because they're vaccinated. So then I think that point of like, oh, Mm -hmm. like they might spread it doesn't really matter because like, 
who gives a fuck if they spread it if you're already vaccinated? That's what the vaccine is for. It, okay, it doesn't but not, really. But you have to think about it. Yeah, we can say that, but you can't guarantee that you're in a. Let's say you go out to the bar tomorrow, tomorrow night. Right. The bars in OC. We all know the bars and clubs in OC been open for months now. Let's say you, you and your girl, you guys go out to the bar and there's right. people in there because of the new. Well, I think in Cali, even with that, this what the CDC, what the CDC said, you still have to wear a mask in public. But let's just say there's people indoor with no mask on. Like you said, they could lie and say they got the vaccine even though they got it. Who's to tell right. that these people without masks actually have the vaccine or not or actually don't have COVID or not? And so you put yourself in that situation. Let's just say one of these people and they lied and said, oh, I already got the vax already and they actually have COVID. Right. And you happen to be near them in the bar or someone who doesn't have the vaccine, I would say, mm-hmm. is near them in the bar. And now it gets to them. Right. And let's say that person gets real sick or let's say that person doesn't get sick. But they go home, pass it on to their roommate or their significant other. And then now their significant other, a roommate who was also a young, healthy person, gets real sick. Right. Then it's like you could have you didn't have the vaccine. If you would have been wearing a mask, you would have put yourself in a better situation to where you wouldn't have contracted COVID and pass it on to your roommate or whoever you live with or whatever it may be or your family. But I'm I'm it's just a, I'm just like saying I said, even if you get the well, vaccine, it's still right now. It's still all about being smarter. Like you should still wear your mask, so you're not just fucking passing shit on. No, if you do contract I, well, it, you don't want to take my, that chance to pass it my, on to nobody. My only point is that if you're gonna tell a certain population that they don't have to wear the mask anymore, then it should be the same for the other population. It's just only fair. It's just my point. My and thing then is, also, I don't think it could work like that. I don't. I agree with you. Well, you can't. You can't change Wait, like the laws and shit. Like you can't force people to do things. But I think when it comes to the math, I think that's something that well, they should keep. For I just now. I see. I At just, least until we get well, a closer to a quote unquote herd immunity or community. Well, whatever has, the fuck you want to call that, it. That was supposed to be the whole thing all along, and then they stopped talking about it. And now they're bringing it up to herd immunity. It's like yeah, because that a lot mat- of people are taking matter. A that, lot of people that, are actually taking the vaccine. Yeah, that that didn't matter, and it should have mattered, but for some reason it didn't matter before, but it mattered now. But my thing is, I'm just trying to be fair, okay? I I, I, I see feel that, but I just you see can't what, always be no, fair. That's no. not how well, it well, works when you run in a country. Well, I just that's not how it works when you run a country. That's that's fine, but the the whole point of this country is freedom. They, they every this I get country. That, but Certain times, sometimes you have to protect the people. I'm not, and I'm. But you're, you're. And don't. Hold on, hold on. I don't want people to take this the wrong way. But sometimes I'm, you have to, you have to protect the people from themselves. No, no. In a sense. I'm not saying that you're no, doing this in this sense. No, but I'm just saying. no. That's not what this country is about, and that's not what this country preached. This country preached about okay. freedom. People fucking come here from other places to be free. So if you're gonna preach that, then be about it. Okay. okay well, let's, so let's wait, get hold, on, the hold, up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's Let me finish this point. Let me fucking finish this point. So if you're gonna preach that this fucking country is free, then it has to be free for everybody. So like, if you got the vaccine, sure, great. If you don't, sure, great. You can all do the same thing because you have the freedom and the chance to, to that you have to make your own decision. I think after this that whole, I think true. after this whole long year, everybody just wants to be able to have the chance to make their own fucking choices. So stop taking. Cho- the the choices from certain group because they're vaccinated out, and then not giving the same choices to other. If you're gonna give a choice to a certain group, then the other group gotta fucking have the same choice. Like just just be fucking fair at the end of the day. Like life's I'm, not fair. But I don't give a fuck. This country preaches freedom, life's so you fair. should let people be free. Freedom doesn't mean fairness. That's two completely. That's definitions. wild. One That's wild. Thing. Here, here. When we're gonna end this? Because I don't care about talking about COVID or vaccine no more. So we let's go into cancel culture. And two, I have two right. things to say before we end this. One. Like I just said, life's not fair. Freedom and fair, two different definitions. So you can't use that. I get it. I get what you're saying, but that's not that's not how life works. I'm just, and two, I'm just, I'm and just. Two, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, do do we want to go back to normal, how we were in 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 uh in 2019 and 2018, or do we want to stay living how we were in 2020, the beginning of 2021? At some point, people have to open their eyes. And let's just end it there, and let's just go ahead and talk about Wait, hold up. I can't let you finish on that end. Yes. Oh, hold I'm up. Not, I'm not like no, that hold up. their eyes, but no, at some let, point, people have to... Let's, okay, you okay. have to come wait, to wait, a compromise. Wait. Let me, you have to come to up. a compromise oh. at some point. Both sides. I, well, Both sides. Okay, you're you're saying that, but on one end, you're like, it's not fair. You're not letting other people... You're not trying to compromise. Because you, you, wait, hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish. You're not letting the other people make their own choice. You're saying, this is how it is get to it follow it or else like it's not like you can't make your own decision that's not 
that's not compromising. Like that's not compromising whatsoever. Compromising Bro, people, is when you uh you come to the middle. Wait, hold on, let me finish. It's I didn't say shit. Keep going. You you stopped yourself. I just oh, okay. said people and stuff. It's, it's it's when it's when two people can find common ground. So all I'm trying to mm-hmm. say is that like if you know if one person can do x x amount of thing, then the other person could do the x amount. It's how you compromise. And now look, a lot of us. We all know things. We see social media, so everybody have their own information. Everybody learn their own way and all that. So, so it doesn't, or the news, or studies, or research, or science, or whatever it is. Everybody have should do your research. You shouldn't get shit from social media okay, or the I'm news not, because they sensationalize shit. I'm not saying that. I'm 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 literally naming every single type, Anderson. I'm literally naming every single type of type. So, like, I think we should allow people to make their own decision. However, the decision is, it's their decision. I don't think we should force people to go one way anymore. I think a lot of people are smart nowadays. They're, they, they, can, they know what they put themselves into. They know the risks that they put themselves into. So we should allow that to happen. I don't think you, we hold should on, hold on, hold on. babysit and carry people Did anymore. Did you just say you think a lot of people are smart nowadays? No, of course they're. Of, is that what you just said? Of course, of course they're not. I'm just, I'm just trying a to. A lot be, of people are stupid as fuck nowadays. Oh, I sure. So let's, let's keep it a hundred. Okay, sure. There's a lot of. So don't, I can't. No, I can't let you say that because if you can't let me say what I say, I can't let you say that. Because let's come on, let's let's, let's be a hundred. I'm not, and I'm not saying I'm the fucking smart, the sharpest tool in the shed, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. I don't want to. <clears> I'm not tooting my own horn like that because I'm pretty sure I'm stupid as fuck at times too. But if you think a lot of people are smart or if you think a lot of people have common sense nowadays, I'm letting you know that that's 100 percent false. I No, I, I yes, I agreed. But when it comes to people making their own decision, who are you to tell them what their right is or what they're wrong? Because sometimes people making their own decisions, they make wrong decisions. And I'm and I'm not and I'm not talking about the vaccine because like now you being a real forceful as a person I think I'm not talking I think about the you vaccine, should let people make their own decisions. We could use we could use, we could use other examples that don't have to do with COVID vaccines. It's a lot of times where people make wrong decisions. I know, but what if what if what you're Bro, saying is think, actually wrong? There's people that in the but world, you're in your in your try, head you're try, thinking you're right. Try. There are people in the world that think if you get a flu vaccine as a kid, it leads to autism and. Science shows that that is 100% not true. Yes. So, yes, sometimes people make wrong decisions. Life isn't fair. Sometimes you need somebody to be like, hey, shut the fuck up and just listen because you're not thinking with your brain. You're thinking with your emotions. But yes, no, that's how it goes. It's not no but. That is how it goes. There's people. You can do this Google research right now. There are people in this world that think if you get the flu shot or like some of the shit that we give when we're babies, like what is it, uh, tuberculosis shots? Uh, what are the shots we give when we're babies? People, when like for you, when chicken you, pox, yeah, chicken pox, measles, all that shit. Like you, when you came overseas, you had to get like tetanus and all that bullshit. Yeah, there's people that think that those shits call all, cause autism, and it's not true. I'm, I'm just so you can't you can't say that that people can just be able to think what they want because i mean you can but sometimes people but then but then what, shit that's false like that I, I get it i get it but this that can that can very well flip it against you let's say somebody would be like you're stupid you don't know what you're talking about you're fucking wrong okay, and then so, they try to tell you what to do okay so if would we're you talking, like that okay so would if we're you talking, like that it will well if it depends on what we're talking about if we're talking specifically about what i just said my thing is my thing is it doesn't really if we're talking specifically about what i just said about flu shots causing autism show me the stats show me the facts where flu shots cause autism and i'll shut the fuck up i'll apologize i'm wrong you can't show me those facts and i don't care you sound retarded because because facts will show that what you're saying is false you're just spreading lies that you've seen on social media or on fucking websites that aren't verified, that aren't credited, that are just saying bullshit just to rile people up. <clears throat> so show me facts, and I'll right. I'll shut up. All right, I'll, I'm I'm humble. I'll admit I can admit when I'm wrong. All right, all right. When I'm wrong, Wait. I can admit it. All right, all right. Could I could I agree with you and also disagree with you at the same time? Yes. And I'll explain why. Yes, I agree with you. I'm I'm pro vax. Okay, I'm pro vax and I don't give a fuck wait, if you was pro vax or let me anti-vax. Finish. Let me finish. No, go ahead, go ahead. I'm just saying finish. I don't give a fuck if you was whatever well, side you're okay. on. Let me finish this take, okay? I'm I, I will agree with you and then I will tell you why I would disagree with you at the same time. I'm pro vax and if anybody who disagree with vaccination, I think they're wrong. But I'm not gonna tell them that. They're, that's their own their re- the research. Now, I came from a different country, so 
Like, there's so many fucking people in other countries that need vaccines right now that can't get their hands on India? free vaccines. Yes, India. There, it's, uh, there's study oh, that they can't, even, they can't get it until 2024. So I think a lot of people here who are anti-vaxxers are taking it for granted. Feel them and grateful. I don't give a fuck. Let me finish, Angerson. I'm Damn. sorry, man. Fuck. I told you I was trying to get back to cancel culture. Okay, we'll get to it, but let me finish <laughs> my point here. Go, I'm, go, I'm go, trying go, to... Go, go, go. Um, yeah, so I, I I grew up as a kid in Vietnam with zero vaccines, so I had to go through all the the chicken pox and all that shit. So it's like I I come over here and I'm really I'm jealous the, at the fact that America has access to all these vaccines that actually like prevent all this shit from happening, or else I wouldn't have fucking holes in my face, or else I wouldn't walk around with chicken pox for like two weeks or something like that, or else I wouldn't have this hole on my uh, arm. So I'm grateful for the access to vaccines and all that, and I believe in it wholeheartedly. I believe. I, I believe that that it does more um it, it it comes with more benefits than it than it harms you I, yes it comes with more but, good pro, pros than cons but here here's where I'm gonna disagree is that it's not I I shouldn't I, I don't agree in forcing people to take it and I don't agree I agree it, there I agree with you there I and I don't agree with punishing people who decide not to because I also agree that it's, it's their choice. See, like at the end of the day, I just want to come down to where this country and where our um, value is. Our value is freedom and everybody has the right uh, to do whatever the fuck they want to do. A lot of uh, there's a bunch of adults here. Then if they don't want their kids to get a vaccine, then they don't. They they everybody has to this. That's everybody fine. has the right to make their own decision. That's You're fine. not allowed to tell people what to do. That's point paint player period that's it no 100 percent. like they don't like you don't we're not forced to get the flu vaccines and i'm not mad at people who don't give their kids the flu vaccine i just get i don't i won't say i get mad but i get confused when people like how i told you how people say that the flu vaccines or they think certain vaccines lead to autism like i get confused because it just shows that you're not really doing your research you're just going along what you've seen somebody because it's even famous people that say stupid stuff like this that flu vaccines and shit lead to autism. And it's like, you are famous. You have all the money. You have all the time in the world to do this actual research. And you just choose to say this, to spew this stupid stuff, knowing that some of your fans are going to eat it up. Yeah. People don't, when it comes to stuff, even with COVID, the COVID vaccines, I see celebrities on Instagram posting, like, if you don't want to take the vaccine as a celebrity and you want to say it to your fans, I'm personally not taking the vaccine, go ahead. But when you post this stuff, that you know is like you talk you mad shit the, on it. Not, and not no. That. If you want to talk shit, go ahead. You can make your jokes, do whatever. I make jokes all the time. But when you post the stuff that you know, if you really go do your research and you know it's not true, and you're posting this as a celebrity, you're doing a disservice to this country. You're doing a disservice to your fans because you're giving them false information. That's my thing. If yeah. you don't want to take the vaccine, fuck it. Don't take it. If you're healthy, if you use vitamin C and zinc and all that other bullshit, which vitamin is actually D, fi- vitamin D, all that shit, ICU. all that shit is actually better than getting vaccines. Don't get me wrong. But if you use that shit and you healthy and you don't get sick, then oh, and also, means, man, more and also, power to you. But and also, this sounds really fucked up. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish oh, okay, this part. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. If you if you do all that, you take all the vitamins and shit, and you're healthy. You've never been sick in your sick in your life. You work out. You don't do drugs. You don't do anything that'll compromise your immune system. More power to you. Yeah, stay away from. But when it comes obese. to people just spewing information that all it takes is a Google search. <laughs> if you don't trust Google, all it takes is an internet search to actually find out if this information is true or false, and you're spewing false information. That's what I personally don't like. Yeah. All it takes is thirty seconds, three minutes to look it up and see that whatever you just read is not true. And that's what people don't do. They just go with what they see on Twitter and Instagram or what yeah. they see on Fox News or MSNBC or CNN. And you need to stop looking at those five sources that I named. Yeah. And so to end it, I think on both sides, needs to just stop talking shit. If you want to take the VAC, then you take the VAC. If you don't want to take the VAC, you don't want to take the VAC. And then also when it comes to the government, let's, let's try to be fair as much as possible. I, I give you can't trust the government, but sometimes you like... They, they should try to be fair to both sides and understand both sides. You have to understand sort of that way. the government isn't here to just fucking microchip us or fucking kill us all in the future or whatever. They not, they're not making money either. All yeah, the time that um, we sitting at home because we not making money and we can't go buy shit. So you have to use common sense. You have to look at it from both sides. That's all I say. Yeah. All right. All right. That's all, all right. I say. All right. Let's 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 jump on to this next. Uh, do you want to spearhead this next topic? What for uh, cancel culture? Yeah, cancel culture. I'm yeah. so sick. Of, I'm so sick of cancel culture. Like all that right. is the stupidest thing I've can ever. Can we heard work? Of. Can we work our way from? 
um the beginning to the end um so when did council culture really start with like yes. 2017 2018? yeah when did it start and I'll say how did it was really start when it? it started in 2019 2020 was i'll say no 2017 is probably really when cancel culture cancel culture really, really started. started right 2018 and 2019 was probably really when it blew up <sighs> And it was Outside like, of maybe the Me Too movement, because all those dudes are sick as fuck. They're sexually harassing or assaulting women or whatever it may be. That doesn't count. But it's certain times where people have gotten canceled just for saying shit or doing shit that might be a little inappropriate. Right. And my thing always with cancel culture my is, thing is wait, how do you on. expect people to grow if you Did just, it start? Wait, hold up. Uh, you, can, you can start your point. Did it start it with, did it start it on Twitter? Like was Twitter a main culture started with social media? Yes, maybe not just Twitter, know, but, but with social media. Oh, okay, I just think it was like more on Twitter because people tweet and say a bunch of shit. So, anyways, go ahead. But it's still, I mean, yeah, like social media is social media. It sometimes doesn't affect real life, but when it came to council culture, yes, it does. It affects <coughs> real life. And some of these people really get canceled. And my thing is, when it comes to council culture, people really only cancel shit that they don't like. They don't cancel the shit that's really bad. Like if yeah. that was the case, it wouldn't. We wouldn't be voting in these fucking sick ass politicians, no matter if they're Democrats or Republicans, that do fuck shit that don't. They're care all sick, about actually. Us. Can we make this a point? We wouldn't still um, be supporting fucking celebrities that do actual weird shit. Like we pick and choose who we want to cancel as a culture, and I never got that. That shit is just weird to me. Like I never got it personally. If we're gonna cancel, and don't get me wrong, like I'll use. And it's a good thing we're never going to go viral anytime soon. But let me use Ocho Cinco and, and Chris Brown as an example. They beat women. And I and I like both of them, so I'm not saying this. Like, even... And beating oh, women is bad. Okay. No, don't give me... No. All relax, right. Relax, relax, <laughs> I, relax. I didn't I'm think that's gonna, the two I'm name like, that you're going to use, yeah, but so okay. I'm not going to say nothing controversial. Go ahead. Beating women is bad. You should never hit a woman. I don't give a fuck. What, unless you feel your life is on the line... Like, you feel that this this woman is about to kill you if she has a weapon or something, or if she's just beating a dog shit out of you and you're about to die. Just run and run and run. If you if you can't run and you have to defend yourself, defend yourself. But you should never hit a woman, ever. No point, no circumstances at all. But these are two people that we've, in a sense, forgave for the, the things they did. Everybody knows what Chris Brown did. Everybody knows, no, yes, yes, you hear, you got the haters still. It's the same thing with Kobe with his oh, false I, I know Nicole don't fuck with Chris Brown okay. still. <laughs> still I'm not, to this I'm day. Not Nicole here, but yeah. you still got people who don't like them for what they did. It's the same thing with Kobe, even though those accusations. You want to use a different example? No, because let me finish. Let oh, me okay. finish. Because I don't like okay. but but there's people who've been in the same situations as Chris Brown and Ocho Cinco. Right. And their careers have been done. They never got the chance to grow. And and you sh- maybe sometimes you shouldn't deserve to grow, but in certain situations, that was that might not be a good example because it's beating women. That's like something you really... But these dudes did their time. So don't get me wrong. They did their time. They went to jail and everything. They came back. They changed. They do... I mean, Chris Brown still be wilding. Well, not so much no more. But like when he was dating Karuchi, he was still wilding. But these dudes, they did their time in jail and everything. And they came out changed citizens. They didn't come out and was still like really yeah. on the same fuck shit. Like, you get me? So like it's certain things... If I don't know, maybe society, maybe beating women is different. I mean, we're in a different day. Can I, age can I come up with a different different. example? We can use a different example, like fucking. Uh, yeah, can we use people? a different example? Because that is really hard. Um, that's I don't, a hard example cause like, it's, it's, cause, that's because that's domestic violence. Don't get me wrong. That's yeah, a hard yeah. Example, but my point is, look at Ray Rice. We we've seen situations in the NFL, and I don't want to bring race in, but we've seen situations in the NFL where certain people of certain races have done the same thing as Ray Rice and still had a second chance. And he did what he did with his wife, and they're still married, and he never got another chance to see the light of day of an NFL football field ever again. Um, so my hope, and and like I said, those are horrible examples. You should never hit a woman. We could even use like lighter examples, but it's still the same thing. Well, we okay. still pick and can choose I, who we want to count. Can I dissect this? Okay, we're not going to use ahead. that. We're not going to use that example because who are we to tell how women feel about those kind of situations? Um, no, if they, I just they, said you should 100. percent You should yeah. never hit a woman. No, right, right. That. So I think I get that. We let's, it, it, we're men. We don't really have a say in those we, situations. I was just that's I don't want I don't examples I could think of. No, okay. Let me let up. me come up with a different example. Um, let me come up with a different example. Um, there, uh, I'm not going to name any names. Specific, specifically but specifically specifically but um we do see a lot of like famous people who got canceled for um saying a lot of political 
political views. Okay, that's, uh, okay. so um, let me, sorry to interrupt you, but that that's even a better example. So we see people get counseled for their political views. And don't get me wrong, I, I hate, like, not Republicans, but I hate those people that you know that they, when they come out and say they're Republican, not because they're <clears> Republican, <throat> but you just, that's like the ice on the cake. You're like, okay, this person might be racist or they might have, like, certain views that don't align with being progressive or, like, Right. contributing to making the society better whatever whatever you want to however you want to call it or whatever <clears throat> right those people still shouldn't get canceled because at the end of the day that's an opinion yeah i mean they can say well black people getting killed by cops shouldn't fucking be doing whatever they're doing but I, that doesn't that doesn't give you the right to cancel if you don't like them then yeah you don't got to mess with them you don't got to support them but that doesn't mean that they should get canceled because that's something that you can always be educated on. Even if you never change your ways, that's not something to me that's that's controversial where you have to make the whole world not want to support somebody. All right. And um, I agree with that. Like, those are stupid views. Like, that example that I use, that's a stupid view. Yeah, that's a... But we're going to have to nah, reevaluate you assess that one. Um, but, that, any, but you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's just because somebody's... Or can I can I tell you my take? Just because somebody has different views than you, than you, I, you can't cancel them. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna add on to that. Okay. Um. I feel like the the last um year or so, I think a lot of people felt like um. Uh, they need to make an admission in order to cancel somebody for an opinion that doesn't really align with theirs. And I think over time, I think a lot of people hide behind social media. Um, and I think they got a, a major kick out of the fact that their tweet or their repose or whatever they're saying on social media has so much power behind it. Um, once about the people who be trying to uh, yeah, cancel me, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hold on. Um, uh, that they can, you know, uh, jumped on the bandwagon or start the bandwagon. And then a shit ton of people said the same thing and then they get a kick out of it. Um, and I just don't I don't like where that's going. I don't like where it's going is because. At the end of the day, I think a lot of people now are afraid, especially famous people. Um, they're you you can see they're tentative. They don't really want to say what they want to say. Um, a lot of them are holding a lot of things back, and I don't want to be like uh, unfair to one side or the other side. But I think a lot of uh, I think over the time, I think a lot of people who are conservative or Republicans get super fucking bashed on social media, and I think a lot of them get canceled. Um, and I don't think they should have because, you know, who are, I don't think who, they should have who, who are who are we to tell them what they should believe in or what they shouldn't believe in? If they believe in something wholeheartedly, then they should just as the same vice versa as the other side. Like you're a blo- uh, you're a, you can have your own opinion. And I think a lot of people are taking that away from other people, especially famous people who are fucking uh, what is it? Uh, there's so many names. There was like uh, Ellen. There was uh, well, the, well, uh, Gina Conrado. There was um, wasn't really. Oh, I, I, I'll take Ellen out because Ellen was uh, but, different. Okay, no, um, oh, Chris use, Pratt. That, Chris Pratt. Uh, can we use Chris Pratt? Yeah. Um, he was like the, Captain. The, wait. No, 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 no. no, no uh, 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 Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, yeah, he was like the only guy in Hollywood that kind of came out. and was like, hey, I'm a Christian man. I'm like Republican, and people are trying to cancel him for that because they think he was a racist and all that and i'm like dude just because he's republican doesn't make you a racist now i think a lot of the social media has gone like a little bit way yeah. too liberal and then also a little bit way too fucking right and i think we all need to reel it back in i think um also oh. wait hold on I'll, I'll finish this take and then you can you can um yeah, chime made a good point with ellen that's why i wanted to yeah i actually scratch her i i, no, I that's I, actually a good point i made a I made a wrong point on. Oh, that's that's a good point. I'm gonna piggyback, but finish what you're gonna say. Okay, okay. Um, and I, yeah. Um, fuck, I forgot what I was gonna say. My fault. Yeah, go go with Ellen. Right, so and I anyway, come back so to like how you were saying with Ellen. So let's use her for an example. She basically they was trying to cancel Ellen because she wasn't really, I guess, what treating her workers right or whatever it may be. Right, right. I mean. Yeah, that's bad. That's fucked up. Like you're an asshole if you're not treating your workers right. But there's a lot of asshole bosses. Let's get that straight too. Yeah, but. But to can't to try to like counsel someone or get someone to basically well lose, she well now she's uh, already resigning yeah she said next year this is her right. last year and next year she's done because she wants to do other shit but but the fact that and I don't really care about Ellen DeGeneres I could care less whether she fucking got fired or kept her job or stayed there or decided to resign this year or whatever but it's not fair oh uh, but uh, the fact that people were trying to counsel her because she was supposedly like 
mean to her workers and stuff like that's not a good reason to cancel someone yeah that's a behind the close the door issue i get people are assholes but that's not a good reason to try to get someone to try to force somebody or to try to use uh social media and and the the um aspect of going viral to try to get somebody to lose their job yeah that's not a good i don't think i don't think anybody on social media should try to get another person fired and i think that has been i never really liked that there's been a whole lot of that um they really try to get i'm probably a hypocrite because i've probably seen examples of somebody being racist as fuck and on social media and then i probably participated i mean my shit probably didn't matter anyways because i'm a small person in the whole thing but well, Still, I think I, don't, I never agree with that. You should never well, I just because what someone think, says on social media, think, you, you shouldn't be tagging their job, trying to call their place of work. Like that's kind of fucked up. Like these are normal people. These aren't like a lot of time, even with cancel culture, the people that we saw, whether they were saying racist stuff or not, when you seen it on social media, every this thousands, hundreds of people, thousands of people, ten thousands of people tagging your job, googling your place of work, calling them, telling them what you said, like. That's kind of fucked up because everybody says yeah. social media is social media. Everybody doesn't fucking just go by the higher ground. Everybody is has said something on there that can pretty much get you canceled. Right. And then and then to that point, it's it's the fact that like I think everybody on social media just really, really get want to get their point across. And then if somebody else is opposed to their point, it's suddenly an issue and it shouldn't be an issue. It should just be, I think maybe you should just have a, a conversation. I think a lot of people on social media now don't want to have a conversation. They, it's just, it's automatically one team versus the other team. So if you want to exactly. do political is Democrats versus Republican. And if you, any, if you are a Democrat and somebody said somebody's a Republican, no matter what they say, you're going to try to, you hate, or exactly. you're going to go rebut or you're, you suddenly discrediting their opinion. Exactly. And I, I, it's just like a toxic world in order to, um, to be like that for i take my example like i i i i don't want to get into the vax but like i'm pro vax and i took the vax but i'm not going to argue anybody who's anti either uh like i'm not like i'm not going to tell you uh, you should i'm not going to force i'm not going to tell exactly. you or i'm not even going to tell you to put a mask on or if and you don't believe in masks then you don't believe in masks i'm not, not thinking no i know okay with the mask i'm a little different but okay. i even got a better example so it was it's someone i used to play football with in high school we have different views i i if I would take my best guess, I would say he's a Republican, which is and, fine. And we've and I remember I think I posted something when it came to like gun laws. It was probably after like a mass shooting, one of the mass shootings or school shootings, like maybe a good three four months ago. Right. And he responded to my story because I was saying like like assault rifles should be banned or whatever in my story. Mm-hmm. And he responded to it, and he's pro guns. He's pro Second Amendment. He was like. I have assault rifles. He was explaining why he doesn't think it should be banned. And we, and I didn't just, when he, and he's basically disagreed with everything I say. And I didn't just fucking go and say, well, well, fuck you. Well, you're an idiot. And start calling him out by names. Like he's, like we had a whole conversation. I think he's like, man, I'm glad you actually sat here and really like debated with me and didn't like, cause most people, they'll just call me on my name or tell me I'm an idiot or something. I'm like, no, I wanted to have, I wanted to see what you were what you were actually going to say, I want to get a perspective from the other side. And when we talked about it, I can understand when it comes to like the gun laws, I can understand right. people who actually have guns. Right. Like, I don't, that's why I understand where they're coming from. Like it's the second amendment. You guys have been doing this your whole life. And it's just other things. Like not everybody is fucking going to go do some crazy shit. Right. But after I told him like my grievances, he understood where I was coming from on my side of it. Right. And we came to understanding, and, and maybe with that, I have a different understanding that I have from other things when it comes to maybe like the vax or like social justice and other things. But one thing, yeah, me and the opposite person just, came on common ground on I that, just, and that was good to see. Well, I just think, I just think the 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 more people try to put their self in other people's shoe, I think the you better, have to. I think the better it is. But on social media, that doesn't that doesn't necessarily because how it everybody works. wants to they want to go viral for. Well, if we're just speaking specifically cancel culture, everybody wants to go viral for being the person that that canceled some, somebody yeah, that, that canceled got their somebody, job. Got them, but also, yeah. like, can we can we talk on this point? And I I know you're a Democrat, but I'm not either or. I'm not a Democrat. Um, I'm not a Republican. You don't have to um, say our uh, political parties on camera. That, okay, I'm sorry. I, mean, um, I don't care, but you I'm, have to but say I'm just I'm just gonna say that <laughs> <laughs> it kind of almost seems like. 
I'm just kind of sitting back um, that, you know, um, how do I word this? How do I want to word this? That like a lot of Republicans were getting canceled left and right over no, the last were. over the last year. And mm-hmm. I think a lot like we can all be honest and we want to just say a lot of social media is very Democratic um, and very like liberal now and all that. It's more and to I, the left. It's, more, it's, to it's the left. more to the left. We can agree on it's that. Right? We see. I mean, you. but you, don't get me wrong. You see. I can see why it's more to the left because we see more bullshit now. Like social media is so accessible. So you see more bullshit and it's right. like, okay, like it's shit that shouldn't be happening sometimes. Like we'll just, I don't want to, we don't have to dive into it, but just use police brutality as an example. No matter what side of that you're on, like it's more accessible. So everybody is going to have an opinion on it, whether you're on the left or on the right. right. It's just when it comes to specifically that, more people on the left agree with you shouldn't, but, no matter what the situation but, is, you shouldn't be killing people. But, but you get what I'm saying. But I get what you're I, saying. But so yeah, yeah. So so my thing on that is that like, it shouldn't matter what the other person think. I don't think you should be mad at what the other person think because they have the right to think however they think. I as think, long as they're not spewing hatred. I don't give a fuck what you think. You yeah. can be racist as hell as long as you're not out here yeah, fucking as long spewing as you, hatred. As long as you're not hurting anybody or yeah, whatever it is. And whether I, it's physically or systemically. But let me... Uh, finish my point as to oh, go ahead, go ahead. um as to why um a lot of people are getting like bashed on for their opinion on both sides i don't I, it's just it just drives me nuts and it's just like eh. i don't think i don't think it's like a, a the cancel culture i don't think it's gonna go away anytime soon because like why do you think it is because we've seen even at the peak of cancel culture we've seen people damn, i'm kind of talking low my fault even at the peak of cancel culture We've seen people get canceled, but they still. Um, and OK, so going back to what I was saying about with cancel culture, we pick and choose who we want to cancel. We've seen people basically, quote unquote, get canceled that probably should get canceled because they probably maybe not have like molested children or done anything along the lines of that. But they maybe like show that they're racist and that they don't give a damn about minorities or whatever it may be something that may not where they should lose their job but to where we shouldn't maybe support them as much i guess right and these people still get supported and i'm not saying that oh if you're gonna do council culture just cancel all the people who are really like assholes but if you're gonna do council culture you got to be consistent across the boards if you're gonna cancel the people who probably shouldn't be canceled you should be canceling the people who should actually be canceled like the people who are in power who probably shouldn't be in their positions because maybe their views aren't you well, know, like that's something. not even that's a whole different but you gonna, get what I'm saying like if we're gonna talk about people in power, we should just cancel all of them. Like all of them across well, the yeah, board. But you, like, okay, but you get what I'm saying though. But you get what I'm saying though, like not not maybe not necessarily like in power like politics, but you get what I mean, like in power. People in power whose views maybe don't benefit anybody but people that look like them. So this, After what you said, I still I still don't know how it will end. I don't think you gave me a reason how cancel because culture will end. Because nobody canceling shit no more. That, yeah, they still are. Well, they fuck. They can't. They say fuck these people for a week, and these people still got their jobs and still doing whatever the. There's fuck a lot doing. of people that uh, that can't cancel say a lot of not, things though. If we're looking how, if we're looking from today back to like for example, wait, hold up, for example, like. Temper just crying all the time. My dog just cries all the time when we're doing this fucking podcast. Anyways, for example, like, um, I can't fucking think of an example. Give me a second. We'll be right back. (coughs) All right, we're back. I had to fucking put my dog away. Oh, can you close that room? Can you move that shit over? (coughs) Yeah, just move the blinds a little bit. All right. Uh, Where was I getting at? I was getting at this. Okay, so, (coughs) I think... uh, I think in order for cancel culture to stop, I think people have to stop fucking forcing people to choose their team. I think this whole, exactly. I'm on this team. Okay, fuck the other team. Stop it. I think everybody should be their own person. I think I think everybody, okay, this is going to be very, very, I don't think a lot of people are going to like what I'm saying. But I think a lot of people on social media should, should, should just stop trying to be an activist in everything that they do. I don't think like everybody should stop trying to be fake woke. Yeah, just stop being fake woke. You don't need to post, repost all this shit to make it seem like you're a good person. It's okay. If you're a good person, you're a fucking good person. 
like you don't need to repost blm every day you don't need to repost um stop asian hate every day it's okay like if as long as you're a good person i get you saying you're a good person you don't gotta post it right and and then and then i I, what makes me mad is like they will get mad at people that don't post it and it's like dude it's funny me and one of the like and me me and uh one of my friends we just talked about this earlier because it, it has something else to do with some but this is a whole different situation like the white chick she told herself she was she basically was saying like you can support talk like, closer you can support like certain situations without like posting them every day but then she went into basically but she told herself because she went into basically saying like you don't know people's situations maybe they need to educate themselves or maybe their family might right. not agree with those views so basically saying their family or maybe racist. or maybe but they still, just don't want to post it which is okay, fine it's a difference between between what I was saying and what you're saying now, what I, the example I just used and not wanting to post it, but I mean, right. it's, you don't you don't got to post it all the time, but it would be nice to use your platform sometime to like just show support and make people who might who you know follow you who might not be aware aware. But as po- as far as posting it every day, I, no, you don't have to do that. That's yeah. Like everybody want to be an activist, and no, everybody want to be woke. Yeah, everybody don't have to. Be I think people activist. need to stop trying to be so woke. Don't I think get me we wrong. need. Don't I need. Get me wrong. I think I we need like, to stay away from that. I do like that, like, you see on social media, more people are being aware. Even if they're just doing it to, like, be followers, they're more aware of maybe situations that people should be aware of. So I do like that. But at the same time, you don't, we do not all have to be, like you said, activists. Every You can be aware of a situation and show support without trying to be a be an activist. Right. And But... Uh, so to, I get what you're saying, but to how that creates people more aren't going to like that. Though. Well, people yeah, but to, like, I'm sorry, but, but, but to, but, but I get what you're saying, though. but, but to get to why that's an issue, because then everybody will post something different that they believe in. So if you post something about this, while well, the other person posts something about, about that the, very the, same topic, the opposition. but just the opposition now, it suddenly becomes an issue and everybody want to and then mind well, you, I, I repost some shit too, right? That I believe, but I'm just not gonna. I'm not gonna okay, do the that activist just, route because I just, I, I just think it's a issue just, waiting to happen. That just goes back to we need to be able to, like I said, the example with my, uh, with my former teammate, how we had a conversation in, about the gun laws, and we both were on different sides, and we came to understanding there was no, we didn't right. cut at no point in our, and that was like maybe a good like two hour conversation we had, right. At no point did we cuss each other out. At no point did we call each other out of each other's names. We, yeah. We, we, but the we thing is, behind social media, like, yeah, you had a one-on-one conversation through social media. But yes. between, like, social media posts, a lot of people, well, that's cause people don't like show to wanna, empathy they, to the other side. They, they want to seem cool or, like, go viral or whatever the fuck it may be. Right. That's all that is. And I just, I, I, I just think that... People got to stop worrying about clout. Yeah, and I just think people just need to let other people have their opinion. I don't, I, I hate when people yes. on social media try to tell the other person that they're wrong and you're right. No. Even if they're wrong, sometimes it's okay to just let that person have their opinion. You don't need to educate everybody. That's not, right. no matter no matter how progressive we want this world to be, there's what, 6 billion, 7 billion, damn near 8 billion people in the world. There's no way you're going to be able to get 8 billion people Right to, to to think the same way you think, even yes, if the way and you I, think and is I think right. That I, and and I cold heart, you just I cold heart to believe. I cold heart heartly believe in that, and I just think people need to stop trying to persuade other people to think no, the that. same I as you. Sure like if you are super super this way, then that's cool. But you need to stop trying to force the other person to be the same as you, and then you need to stop judging on the part of person for not believing in the same point that you do. Sure, you want to believe this certain thing or this certain topic, that's the right thing. Okay, At fine. The the day, that's fine. As long as you believe that, that whatever that is is right for you, that should just be that should just be your validation. You don't need to force anybody to believe yeah. the same thing that you believe. To me, at the end of the like day, is, is their life is different than yours. At the end of the day, no matter what, like, I mean, there's always going to be people who think opposite of you and the way they think may be wrong, like, when it comes to just, like, actual morals and everything. Yeah. It may be people, like, when it, we'll use racism as an example. It's it's racist people. They're not going to think the same way that we think when it yeah. comes to racism. And I, and I just but, think so, but you shouldn't you force the... It's not, it, no, let's use a better choice of words. It's not, it has nothing to do with forcing them. You can't, you can't 
let's not say force. You can't get everybody to be on your side. Exactly. You can't. You can't get everybody to be on your side. So if some people are racist, like I said, that's the easiest example I could use for this. If some people are racist and you try to educate them on why racism is bad and they still going around using racial slurs saying F minorities or whatever it may be or using their power if they have power to. Okay, maybe if they have power, maybe you should try to do stuff to get them, I guess, to like make it fair for everyone, not just minorities, everybody. Can but, I can I bring up a... But if someone's being racist and they're just racist, if it's just some some fucking hillbilly that you see at Walmart every week when you go to shop and you he know don't he's gotta racist. be a hillbilly. He don't I'm, have to be a hillbilly. I'm just, somebody. You get just what I'm somebody. Saying, you We're get trying to be saying, neutral here. Fucking. If, like I said, if it's just some fucking hillbilly you see at Walmart and he's always racist and you and you guys have conversations and you try to educate him on why or racism some, is bad. Or some old Asian lady still, or some old white people or some old black people it being be, racist. It, it can be, be anybody. Blacks, Hispanics, Asians. I don't give like a fuck. You get yeah. my... I'm use, I used hillbilly. Let me use my example. Okay. Well, that's a form it, of... I don't number. care. Okay. L- let me finish. If you are having that conversation with that person and you're explaining to them why racism is wrong, and they're still saying, and they're still stuck in their ways. You can't save everybody. You can't force everybody to be a better person. Not everybody wants to do that. Sometimes you just have to. And I mean, it might suck, especially in this time, because we're all hypersensitive. But sometimes you have to just let people be who they are. You can't. You can't change everybody. Can I, I bring up? Fuck, a, can I, I don't give a fuck if it's a hillbilly. Since let me, let me, let me, let me be a PC for this guy. I don't give a fuck if it's a hillbilly. I don't give a fuck if it's an older black person. I don't give a fuck if it's an older Asian yeah. person. I don't give a fuck if it's an older Hispanic, an older European, older Russian, African, German. Yeah, let's try to be. I don't, uh, fuck, I don't give a fuck who it is. I just use hillbilly because we were name talking everybody. So I'm just using fair, hillbilly because okay? we're talking about racism. We know how white people are when it comes to racism. Okay. But it doesn't matter who you are. If you're trying to teach somebody about being prejudiced. And they're just not listening. They're just going to forever be prejudiced. You can't change everybody. You can't change. You can't. You can't save everybody. Some people, you just have to. If they're going to be assholes, they're just going to be assholes. You can't do nothing about it. Okay. So can I say, much all okay, so can I say this? Um, I, And I want to see your take on it. But there was a video that I've seen like a while, while back. And it was um, somebody asked Morgan Freeman, how do you end racism? And he goes, stop talking about it. What do you, how do you, I, I want to I want to uh, hear what you say, and I want to say what I be- uh, what I my point to it. I mean, I get what he's saying, but I don't know. I don't. I mean, I, don't, I personally don't know. I don't know that answer. I don't, I don't think what he said was wrong, but I don't know if it's right. Okay, because um, I don't know the answer. I mean, I don't know how you stop racism. Because, like I said, the racism is. Well, no, no, matter, no, no, no. Just on no, his I mean, statement. On his statement, like, don't talk about it. Yeah, don't okay, talk about it. Let's stick. You there. can say don't talk about it, but no matter no matter if you talk about it or not. It's always going to be people in the world who are prejudiced or biased towards their race based off of because maybe if they're just full blown racist and they just think their race is superior or based off of the stereotypes that they hear about other races. That's always going to happen. You can't do nothing about that. So I don't know if talking about it is just going to stop it. Like just because you ignore it. That just gets, that just means people are gonna do it more. Can be like, okay, people are gonna ignore it, so maybe I could get away. They're gonna test to see what they could get away with. So I don't, and that could just be from the other side, but I don't know. I can't right. give you the answer. All right. I don't know. I racism right, a, ain't gonna end until everybody's fucking mixed, and we don't know who the fuck is what race, and that's the only way it's going. I I don't think we should try to end racism because this is a long fight. Anyways, I see. I'm gonna say from my point of view, and I agree with what he said. I agree with what he said, and I'm gonna tell you why. I agree with what he said because when I came over here, I don't even know what the fuck racism was. I don't know what the word that is. You lived in Vietnam. It was mainly Vietnamese people, so you guys weren't racist to each other. Wait, hold up. Let me... So it should definitely be, like, better here. Is So I think the reason... I think if we stop talking about it, then we stop giving people reason to separate them by groups. Is what I'm trying to say. That's not so true. I mean, I get what you, I get. What Wait, hold on. Let me finish. Saying, let me finish. That's not true. Let me finish. Um, the, I think I lost my thought. Cause, um, yeah. So if you stop talking people about people, stop talking about it. Yeah, if stop if people stop talking about it, then like suddenly that one girl isn't gonna come home and ask their parent, "Oh, why am I such and such, and why is that person such and such?" 
you know so then then you can kind of eliminate that factor out where you can start talking in a way where everybody is the same and everybody is together and everybody's equal and there is no you this color you that color you this and you that and i think uh, the reason why the race has gotten so fucking big lately is because on people don't stop talking about it on social media it's race this it's race this and hold on let me finish and i hate i absolutely hate i hate 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 when people try to pull the race card on another person i absolutely hate it i think it's just a way to intensify any issue is when you pull the race card okay well let me break it down wait hold on hold on let, let me finish me break it down for you. wait hold up let me finish i got a few more you. points okay you let can break, break it down, down but let, let me, me finish break it down for you and tell you why you're wrong Oh, oh, Morgan that, Freeman is wrong. That's, but go ahead. That's fine. That's fine. It's just my take. That's fine. I can have my opinion, right? You know you don't fucked up. No, go ahead. That's fine. I mean, it's Wait, my no, opinion. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, don't, we just, don't we just say everybody no, can, can have their ahead. own opinion? I'm, can you go okay. ahead? I'm, go ahead. All right. Well, I was go talking. Ahead. All right. I just want to let you know you fucked up. Okay. Well, I mean, no, who I'm are you to tell me what I'm right or who would tell me I'm wrong? Oh, my God. Can you go? I'm fucking with you. Just go ahead. I'm playing the other side. Okay. That's fine. And, um... Fuck, I lost my train of thought. Oh no, God. go okay, ahead. Fuck go you. ahead. I'm going now. So where where that is wrong at, if we're being serious, the reason that is wrong is because, yes, you can say if you stop talking about it, it'll go away. But we can use um, the LBGT community, for an example. You don't, you like, okay, I'll just use that for an example. People are fucked up. People hate gay people. People hate transgenders or Transgender is the correct, not, yeah, transgender, not trans, um, sexual. Yeah, people. Yeah, you're right. Pe- there's homophobes that hate, they hate gays, lesbians, transgenders, all those people that are part of the LGBTQ plus community or whatever you want to call it. Right. People go around and just beat up gay people for no reason. So you can say, yes, when it comes to, in the same thing when it goes to wait, racism. No, wait, hold on, hold on, pause. hold on, no, hold on. That's hold on. sexism more yeah. than racism. Okay, let though. me finish. No, let me make the parallel for you. Okay. The same reason it goes to racism, and I'm going to use COVID for example. We've seen in the Bay Area where people were going around beating up elderly Asians. Right. And there's witnesses that are saying that these people beat up the Asians because of COVID. Basically, blame them for COVID and beat them up. Right. You can say... Yeah, let's not talk about it. It'll go away. But if there's people that are so sick in the head that are going out and committing these hate crimes, regardless of your your gender, your sexual orientation, your religion, or your race, yes, we have to talk about it. Because if you just don't talk about it, then these people are just going to be like, fuck it. I'm going to go out and kill me a black person today just because I don't like them. I'm going to go out and kill me an Asian today because they started COVID. I'm going to go out and kill me... Hispanic today because all they do is come across the border illegally. I'm going to go out and kill me a Muslim today because they're supposedly quote unquote terrorists. You can't just not talk about it. You have to make people aware because it's not fair to the victims that are falling victim. And I get not everything has, you're right. Sometimes we shouldn't use the race car because not everything. Sometimes people do just try to bring that race cards so they can have the law or whatever it may be on their side. Sometimes you shouldn't use the race card, but there's a lot of time, whether you want to believe it or not, try there's a lot of times where shit happens in this country. And it's because of race, whether it don't have to just be with black people. It could be with, it could be with Hispanics. It could be with fucking Asians. It could be with Armenians, Muslims, Palestinians, Jews. It don't, it don't, there was people, Jewish people. There there was a whole thing in New York when they was shooting up like the, the mosque and shit in fucking New York, killing Jewish people. Mm-hmm. In the syn- not the mosque, the uh, synagogues. Mm-hmm. So you can't just say, or that might have been New Jersey, but it was somewhere back east. But anyways, you can't. I get what you and Morgan Freeman are saying. Yeah, sometimes you just have to. It's kind of similar what Nipsey said when he said you got to ignore people who are on clown time and they'll eventually just fade away or whatever. But sometimes you can't. Sometimes you have to bring awareness to certain things because. If you don't, then it just gives the people who are in the wrong in those situations. It's almost like, okay, well, if no one's gonna gonna say anything about what I'm doing or punish me, then I could just go ahead and keep doing what I'm doing. And that's how we I think get further into what that's how we get further to where we are right now. We get to the point where people on the other side get fed up and now we're in the point where 
we have the protests, whether they're violent or nonviolent, because there's people getting killed by police or people getting killed because of their race or their religion or orientation. It gets worse because people get fed up. So, yes, at this point, I get we are in a hypersensitive era. Like sometimes even with certain things, we should still calm down, learn the facts, whatever it may be. But I think talking about it is good. It's the difference between talking about something and just being irate and trying to cancel everything. There's a big difference between talking and making people aware of what's right and what's wrong and just getting people on your side. So I get what you're saying. I get what you and Morgan Freeman are saying, but I think we should make people more aware of racism because it's not just a physical violence thing. It's a systemic thing. It's people like us who fucking who look like me and you who go to fucking schools and fucking have textbooks that are outdated by fucking seven and eight years just because they don't go to a rich school where all the rich white kids go. And I, I'm not trying to single out white people, but you get what I'm saying. Not everybody can afford to go to school in Brentwood. Not everybody can afford to go to school in Beverly Hills, Santa Monica, where the education is a little better than than Inglewood, than Gardena, than Compton, and maybe even to a certain extent Long Beach where we came from Hawthorne and Lawndale like so yeah we we have to be more aware but there's a way of making people more aware without fucking trying to force it down their throat so yes if that's a if if that's what you're trying to say yes there's a better way of making people more aware of these situations without fucking being a are you good a crazy act. No, I'm, I'm finished. You went I'm on for like 10 now. minutes. I'm just letting you get really? everything oh, out. Yeah, uh, You've been on for 10 but, minutes. I'm just going to yeah, sit I'm back and let you yeah. finish but your point. I'm, I'm, I'm going to finish right here. But that's pretty much like, I get what you, I get what that, that point Morgan Freeman made. Like, we cannot fucking make it. It doesn't have to be the forefront of the news every time you turn on the news. But there is a way to make people aware without forcing it down our throats. Yes. Okay. And I think that was more what he was trying to say. All right. Here, I'm going to compare it to this situation. For example, like, um, you're dating a girl, right? Mm-hmm. Everything is going gravy. Mm-hmm. Everything is going good. And then every day, she just keeps talking about, oh, this and that. And I don't like what you do on IG and speculating that, you know, you, um, you like other girl. And every day she's like, oh, you like other girl. And every day she's like, you like other girl. Every day. After time, she kind of like spoke that to existence Mm -hmm. and then you end up liking other girls. Mm -hmm. And it's it has gotten to a point where I think people talk so much about it that they kind of speak it into existence because people are getting sick of hearing it. Hold on. Let me finish my point. You had 10 minutes. No, go go ahead. I was just I was just I was like, no, go ahead. Go ahead. So so, I get what I'm I'm ad libbing you, man. So so like you grow up as a kid, right? Mm -hmm. Everything's fine. All great and dandy. And then your parents keep every day feeding you this shit saying, okay, you're less than this kid who is a different color and um, you're this and you're that and you're different and you're not the same and be worry and da da da. And then you grow up and you somehow you formulate this whole thing in your head. And now you're so defensive because your parents taught you this way and you're supposed to be scared of this other person and this color is this and this color is that. You see it on. So it's all these things, the news and the media, Gen Z kids definitely have all the social media. So you formulate this world in your head that this people should be this kind and then this people should be the other kind. And if you're this color, then you're that. And if you're that, and then over time, once you become an adult, Suddenly you have this anger and this hatred out of nowhere because you have so many different opinions and it's formulating your head. And it's like constantly talked about that you can't run away from the subject every day. It just feeds you the same topic. You're black. So this white girl has way more uh, opportunity, way more chances. You're Asian, so you're gonna be nails, and this white person is gonna have a better job than you. And if you're Asian, you're good at math. And if you're Muslim, uh, you're this and that. Or if you're Egyptian, you're this and that. Or if you're Mexican, you're only eating. Do- you're all these things that people feed into your head. Now you formulate this thing, mm-hmm. and then you then associate with the only people that you know that you feel like you can. Be comfortable um, become, around. Yeah, and now you're in a bubble. And then everybody just have their own bubble. And if 
Now it's this bubble against that bubble. So that's the only reason why I feel like if you keep talking about it, then you give people Mm -hmm. reason as to how they can divide themselves and put themselves in groups. Now, if you don't, if you stop and if you stop talking about it and everybody can just be on the same playing field, everybody can have the same uh, mindset, everybody stop talking about color. Now, suddenly a darker skin person won't notice the difference between their skin and the other people's skin and how that skin color can play into effect into society. But here's the thing. And, and you're right. No, and you're and you're right. And oh, wait, hold up, hold up. Can you? Uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'll finish this, uh, and then you can mm-hmm. you can ahead, uh, tie it. Down. I I just think, like I know when I become a parent, I definitely for sure ain't gonna tell my kid just because you grow up a certain color, you have this 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 against you. I'm not gonna feed my kid that because my kid is gonna grow up, and my kid is gonna be on the same fucking playing field as everybody. Mm-hmm. Just like how I treated myself coming into this country. I came in this country with zero fucking mm-hmm. English. I never looked at every... I never looked at any kid... This nigga, thought, this nigga thought that clippers that cut your hair was just called the machine. Yeah. I never looked at any kid regardless... I never looked at any kid regardless of his skin color or the kid. Uh, the parents drove a Mercedes, the parents drove the fucking old Honda. I never looked at anybody as better than me or I never looked at me as being in an unfortunate situation. I never looked at that. And I never looked at anybody any different, which is the reason why I just don't ever pull the race card. And that's all. Here's the thing. And first, first off, before I say my point, you, you, not everybody could think like that. I would say maybe some people might say you lucky <clears throat> to, to think that way. Some people might say you ignorant, just depending on who you talk to and how they feel in that day. But I don't. I would say you probably lucky to think that way because not everybody could think that way. But going back to everything you <clears> just said, I'm not even gonna re-summarize it. They heard what you just said. If not, they could rewind it back on YouTube or wherever they listen. All right. It goes both ways though. It goes when you're the minority. Yeah, you you shouldn't just. I mean, you should. I think no matter what side you come from, whether you on the side of white privilege or you're on the side of being a minority and everything is against you or whatever you want to say. You should inform your kids of both whether they're privileged or they're disadvantaged. But you're right. You shouldn't shove it down your throat. You shouldn't constantly remind them, oh, well, let's use black people for it. Oh, you're always black, so you're always going to be disadvantaged right. against white people. You should let them know that, yeah, the world is fucked up. Like some in certain certain scenarios, yeah, you might have a disadvantage when it comes to your white counterpart. It's like coming into a game with the mindset that you're losing. It's not going to work. Yeah, you like should, you're going to lose. You already okay, lost the fight. So, so, yes, but you should still be realistic. Yeah, you should still inform them of, like, their disadvantages or their advantages or whatever you want to call it. But at the same time, yes, you shouldn't shove it down their throat. You should still teach them that they can be as great as they want to be. So I get what you're saying when you say with your kid, you're not going to really teach them. I think it, it should be a balance. Right. You shouldn't shove one down their throat and you shouldn't shove the other down their throat. It should be a balance. You should just let them know how... The world is because it's just how the world is. Whether you want to, whether right. you want to, I mean, you don't have to. Like I said, you shouldn't shove it down their throat because that will give somebody a negative, yeah, because like a negative how, outlook. How humans work but is like once wanna, they start hearing, like it's yeah. If you hear some shit over and over times, again, you're gonna suddenly you're gonna you you're gonna believe in it. Just like how everybody who watch CNN, if you watch CNN long enough, you're gonna believe everything they say. If you and watch Fox, if you Fox News, watch Fox News, and you're, gonna over, you're gonna believe it. That's so why, it's, that's, that's why just we how say you should get your research from outside sources. So and also you should always not um you know assume that people is such and such and such and then you can just avoid a lot of drama and then if you stop talking about it uh, a lot and feeding down people's throat maybe people would not get annoyed by you saying it so damn much and then actually can move on with life well see that's when you say it like that, it's the difference between just constantly talking about something and making people aware you can make people aware of when it comes like i don't want to Make the you can make people aware whatever it be police brutality the Me Too movement whatever without fucking being fucking pushy or edgy or constantly shoving it down people's throats but yeah you should, I think you should always make people aware about situations but there's a way to do it without yeah. being annoying well I'm just saying no yes, no I get you there's a way but, to do it without being annoying right though. but now I'm just saying Nick like, now with social media it's everything is annoying because well, every everything is everything, annoying because it's like society is hypersensitive 
Right. Uh, and I think people need to be fucking less soft. I think people uh, like, can no, we, like, can we that. go back to like the old of uh, the 2005 where comedians don't have to watch what the fuck they say because now comedians are always getting canceled left and right. And I'm like, they're fucking comedians, comedians. should not be getting canceled. They joke about everything, whether you black, white, gay, fucking racist, not racist, exactly. Republican, I'm so Democrat, fed up. Jewish, I'm s- Muslim, I'm Christian, s- Buddhist, s- Hindu. They don't give a fuck what I'm you so are. They don't fe- make a joke about right. you. I'm so fed fat, up when skinny. I'm- and coming back to the cancel culture, I'm so fed up when they try to cancel comedians. I'm like, what? How are they supposed to do their job now? They're supposed to make fun of that's everything the, that's that goes on in life to make to make light of bad right. situations. But now they can't say laugh. anything. They can't say anything because the people it's are like, going back to normal. Because like when they try to Kevin, uh, when they try to cancel Kevin Hart for some shit that he said like about ten years ago, and it's like or whatever. Right, and I'm like, yo, chill the yeah, fuck they, out. Like, chill you notice the fuck they backtracked. They even let him. I think he still hosted the Oscars. Or whatever. No, he didn't. He didn't. They give him an apology or something. They backtracked. They backtracked yeah, that. but he did. He didn't host the Oscar. I thought he hosted. No, no, no. He didn't. He didn't. Oh, well, um, whatever. I think, they still backtracked. I think it was though. like Jimmy, some some guy from. Now, we might have to. Re- well, we could do that later. But I think no. he might have still ended up hosting. No, 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 no. I, no, they no, back, I know they backtracked. No, no, no. The I know, Oscars backtracked. Or whatever I know. it was, they backtracked. I know sure. for a fact. Kevin Hart came out and said, "For a fact, for a fact," because I was following that. Kevin Hart came out and said, "Hey, I don't want to do the Oscar anymore. I don't want to put okay. any more attention on." That matter, like I, I wanted to but be. But the Oscars did backtrack, and they offered it back to him. The host correct. Game. Yes. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Yes. Yeah. So, so it's stuff so like they that. They at least did the right thing. They, yeah. They backtracked. They did yeah. the right thing. But it's, I get what you're saying. With comedians, we can't be. And that's the whole. That's and, their job. And it's also it's like, can we stop digging old shit and then use old shit against people? Like, can we stop doing that? Because people grow. Like, uh, Some yeah. Shit they Kevin, said in Hart, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart is a change man. It's gonna be different from 2021. Right, and I think uh, people need to like uh, cancel culture. A lot of people who are willing to participate on the, uh, uh, you know what, with the free time you have, uh, do something. Find a hobby. <laughs> Go jack off. Watch some porn. Go play yeah, video games. Start a stream. Like maybe, said, maybe go on to maybe go on Twitch and watch the. Um, the hot tub streams or whatever, or maybe you don't even gotta be that. Like you said, go do something. You're so busy on social media trying to cancel people, you should be doing something with your life to right. Better yourself. Like uh, that's the whole stop, point. Stop I trying to get. That's the whole point of cancel culture. Stop trying to get people fired, cause like if somebody try to get you fired, I know you're not gonna like that. Exactly, you would not like how it feels. Right. Cause now you got to go look for another job. You might not be able to make your rent or your bills because all of a sudden people. That's not. And I yeah. get some it's fuck people sometimes, but that's not what you should be doing. Yeah. All right, man. Um, I think that's it. Uh, actually, like, that was actually a pretty good conversation. Yeah, I think we we got down to the needy right. greedy. Um, I think that's it for the Can't Tell Me None podcast. Um, I think we talked a lot. I don't even know how to name this episode, but cancel culture. <sighs> something like that all right my name is try make sure you like subscribe our video um yeah, every it, week every week this will be coming out on saturday so expect that anything before we leave oh, man. Uh, appreciate y'all for tapping in you already know we're gonna be back every week with some by the way content. you bought this bottle and you said you were gonna bring it to the trip well, it's girl, about done my girl brought tequila oh all right well then fair enough all right <laughs> we out for this one <laughs>